Are you serious, folks? Are you serious? We got a huge Category 4 monster of a typhoon headed right for the Philippines. And it's headed right to the exact area that just a few weeks ago was hit with a 7.1 mega earthquake. Oh, well, they killed about 150 people. Are you serious? This thing is a monster. Strengthening super typhoon Haiyan. Its local name, they call it Yolanda. They like to call it Yolanda. Is poised, it is literally poised to make a serious threat to the lives and the property across the entire nation of the Philippines. Haiyan became a super typhoon Wednesday morning. Today, local time, with maximum sustained winds, get this, 240 kilometers an hour or 150 miles an hour. This thing is a monster. And this makes this intensity of Yolanda equal to that of a powerful Category 4 hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. So this, it continues to track toward the Philippines with its current track. Haiyan will cross over the Philippines on Friday all day long through Friday night. This is not going to be a good sign. Let me show you the track. Here, I printed it out for you. But there you see it, Haiyan. It's a monster. And there you see the timeline as it heads right for the Philippines, which, of course, is right here. It's going to go right through the Philippine Islands, folks. And then it's going to continue on toward the mainland. And we'll deal with that about Sunday. But right now, you, everyone, please pray for the people of the Philippines because obviously this is a huge, mega, mega, mega. I mean, this is called a super typhoon. It's a super typhoon. It's coming with apocalyptic power. It is a, a biblical proportions. This is really dangerous. I've got some more information about the storm. These storms, uh, look, they're very wicked. And it's going, uh, Manila, Manila is going to be affected by this. Uh, we'll show you a little more here. But there you see Manila on the map. This thing's going to go south of Manila, but it don't matter. It's so big, it's so strong, that just south of Manila, there will be significant threat. Manila is on some threat, as you can see there. This is a very powerful typhoon. And uh, it is on its way. Friday is going to be a long day. Friday, November the 8th, is going to be a long day in the Philippines. we flooding, wind, damage, destruction, storm surge, rain. Uh, it's just a very dangerous situation. But wait, I've got another. I want to show you a little bit more here. Haiyan will also produce a severe and inundating storm surge, as I was saying, especially along the eastern coast of, of the southern Luzon and Samar Islands. Residents are urged to take necessary precautions now ahead of Haiyan's approach and heed all evacuation orders issued by the local authorities. The worst of the storm will bypass the capital city of Manila, but it will still affect it. But damaging winds of 80 to 120 miles an hour and rainfalls of 4 to 8 inches are still expected to fall in Manila, which could create tremendous flooding, so I'm telling you. So, and look at the size of this thing. Again, another uh, uh, the, unbelievable. Are you serious? What? This thing is ugly and it's on its way please pray 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 for the people of the philippines oh lord have mercy this is not a good situation i'm pastor paul begley don't miss our show today from 12 noon to 3 p.m eastern it'll be powerful it's at our website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com that's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com i'm on from 12 noon to 3 p.m eastern We'll be covering all of these events. 
plus much more that you don't even see on YouTube videos. There's several other things going on that are of biblical significance. The Bible did say there would be signs in the sun. We had a solar flare. Hang on. We had a solar flare. In Luke 20, uh, 21, 25, For there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and the stress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring or echoing. Now, get this uh, quickly. So you know we've got the sea and the wind roaring for sure. But also, we also have confusion in the land. Of course, the Middle East is in serious situations as well as earthquakes. Can I get you up to speed here? First of all, on the sun, there's been, a, again, another major solar flare. Uh, X3 class solar flare took place um, uh, yesterday on November the 5th, 2013. The magnetic canopy of the sunspot AR1890 erupted, producing a brief but intense X3 solar uh, class X3 class solar flare, according to NASA Solar Dynamics Observatory, recorded the extreme ultraviolet flash. Let me show you a picture of it. It's in black and white, but I still want you to see it. It is quite significant. I want to thank the Reverend Gary of Kentucky for getting this information to me just a few moments ago. Thank you so much. Also, I want to thank somebody for this uh, story on the. Uh, Reverend Gary, again, Reverend Gary, I said that, okay. Reverend Gary, thank you so much for this information here as it relates to this, uh, so, this um, solar flare. But wait, there's more going on. So you've got signs in the sun, X-class solar flare. You got the, uh, you've got the stars with the comet Ison on its way, uh, going to make a spectacular uh, situation developing in the sky later in November on into December. And of course we've got uh, earthquakes as Jesus said also, and Troy brought this to us, a 4.5 earthquake in Colombia today, 4.0 Alaska, 4.3 India, 4.0 Oregon, that's right, off the coast of Oregon, 4.0, 4.5 the Vanuatu Islands, 5.4 earthquake, India, 5.4, Japan, they don't need another quake, they just don't need any more of these shaking, oh, a 5.2 in the North Indian Ocean, 4.9, Tonga, 4.1 earthquake, Greece, 4.9, Viscoli Islands, 4.6, Chile, uh, 4.9, Papua New Guinea, so we are continuing to see solar flare eruptions on the sun, the comet Ison racing toward the sun with a tail eight times wider than the earth, carrying all kinds of debris, asteroids, meteorites, comet dust. It's going to whip that tail toward the earth. So we've got earthquakes in divers places. We've got solar flares on the sun of X-class, major flares, and they've been very frequent as of late. We have the comet Ison on the way, and we have a super typhoon headed toward the Philippines. Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And there's distress of nations? Are you serious? What do you call Syria? And the civil war there, and the, and the murder, and the madness, and the mayhem, and the meanness there. What about the Christians being murdered? in different nations of the world, especially in North Africa, like Nigeria, and Uganda, Rwanda, and Somalia. I mean, this is getting ugly. In Pakistan, persecution of Christians. In India, persecution of Christians. And don't forget uh, Afghanistan. And, and Are you serious? Iran. It just continues. And then America is morally decaying before our very eyes. And everybody gets mad when I bring it up. What do you want me to do? I mean, we just passed yesterday the uh, gay the gay rights bill. Um, and uh, the Senate passed it. I don't, you know, 
and it's going to the house. I don't know if it'll get through the house or not, but it just seems like, and and they're taking God out of everything. Somebody just sent me a, a an email earlier today. They're taking God out of the oath when you take the oath um, in some of the military branches. It's just we're just seeing all these signs. Are you saved? Are you saved? I want to get real with you for a minute. Are you born again? Don't, don't let eternity creep up on you without Jesus. 